completely focused on their rider here, number 10. Yeah, just behind in the background, you saw the 29 of Henry Jacoby. So he is still circulating uh, his lap time, last time a 2.30 quicker than Watson so barring any problems there for the German Watson might find it difficult to break down the FNH racing Kawasaki rider uh, as he looks to try and find the podium himself but this is an intense battle now V out got his hands full but still gonna be on the podium and I tell you what his old man Fred and uh, his mum up there in pit lane will probably be chewing their fingernails at the prospect of him Ooh. finding the podium well and, and Tom Vial here on that orange KTM, right? He's he's a rookie to this uh, division. So, and this is fantastic performances at this point of his career. And so, one thing that he needs to do here is he's putting on a fantastic ride, but he needs to not make any mistakes. He needs to not ride above his his ability, not to ride above his fitness, because then that's when he can get in trouble and possibly throw it away. Yeah, and you'll see right here, he'll get muscled out of the way by Valandra, and he'll try and stay in there, but you'll say, you know what, he can have it, because, you know, I'm already second, third in the Grand Prix, and uh, Valandra just ran it down the inside there and didn't even blink, because he just made that pass for second, and he's already starting to pull clear. But uh, here we see it again, Jeff. Take a look here. Valandra just just totally focuses on that one line. I was wondering where he was going with it. He found a smooth rut down through there. Boxed out Vial, forces him wide, takes second position. Taking a look at the lap times, last time around, Calvin Blandrum was at a 230, Vial at 231. Unfortunately for both of them, Thomas Kier Olsen was at a 228, so he's still flying. He's 12.1 seconds ahead last time around. 